Wow, this place is really nice. Insane. So loud. You see that rainbow in the little mist? Oh, that's really pretty. Beautiful here. Pretty nice. And it's not that bad for heights. <laughs> not that tired, no. And uh, while we catch our breath, let's talk some hockey. The Chilliwack Chiefs are retooling their roster for next season at the team's annual rookie camp. And among the players vying for a spot on main camp are a few Chiefs alumni bloodline names. Less than three weeks after being knocked out of the BCHL playoffs, hockey is back at Prospera Center, albeit for a weekend only. The Chilliwack Chiefs held their annual rookie camp under the watch of bench boss Jason Tatarnik and his staff, who quickly got back to the drawing board to begin the building process of next season's squad. Yeah, I know it was a short time of depression there being done, but then on, you're right back at it right away. So it's been good, you know, get to see the young guys and some older guys at our camp and. Um, and we got quite a few spots to replace and uh, well, obviously there's, there's some talent out here and we got to make some decisions. That team last year was put together in a short period of time and we liked the style that it brought. We thought it was an exciting style. You know, if there's one thing, I thought we could be a little bit more physical, a little bit grittier in certain areas and uh, we're going to try to address that a bit. But uh, overall, we're happy. We thought uh, we'd be very comfortable in the best of seven with Penticton or Nanaimo. But... Uh, didn't go our way in the round robin, that's the way it goes, and uh, we just have to try and get there again next year and uh, do a better job in whatever format they present next year. Over 60 players traveled to the Fraser Valley for this Chiefs rookie camp, and among those, Robert Jacobson and Mateo Esposito, two young goaltenders looking to impress enough to come back to main camp in August and vie for a position on next year's squad. Head coach Jason Tatarnik has already said that Aiden Polina will be the team's starting netminder come August for the 2015-16 season as his 20-year-old season. So the backup position is up for anyone's taking. Yeah, I know it's wide open and uh, we got some good goaltenders at this camp and you know, it's going to be a tough decision for us. You know, there's quite a few here They're from the ages of 14 to 18. Now there's they're, they're quality goaltenders and different styles. And Right now we think we're going to have to find a, a goaltender that's going to push Aiden and uh, a goaltender that can be uh, the guy in the future. Robert Jacobson, who goes by the name of Boba, is 17 years old and is the younger brother of recent Chiefs netminder David Jacobson. He spent last season with the Los Angeles Junior Kings U18 team, a program that's graduated many players into higher levels of hockey, including Ottawa Senator forward Bobby Ryan and Pittsburgh Penguin forward Bo Bennett. Former Chief star Gabe Goche is also an alumni of the program. Robert hopes he can follow in his brother's footsteps and make the adjustment to junior A hockey. It's been fun. I, the f speed's good. Uh, good competition. A lot of good goalies here. So trying to be the best of the best and make a run at the team. Uh, trying to find my spot here. Yeah, the speed's a lot better. Shot's a lot harder. More traffic in front of the net. Got to battle a little bit harder. So speed's there. You, you just got to get conditioned well and see the puck well. Mateo Esposito is 18 years old and the younger brother of Luke and Mark Esposito. He spent the last few seasons playing high school hockey for the Brunswick Bruins and his experience here in Chilliwack has been nothing short of outstanding so far. Uh, a lot of great players coming out of here. Loved it here and uh, Mark, really similar experience. Um, it just, it's a great city and, uh, and I've been here. It's my second time. I came here to visit Luke and they both love it and uh, looks like a great place. I'd love to play here next year. Next on the agenda for the Chiefs will be a camp held in Los Angeles July 24th to 26th, an opportunity for the Fraser Valley outfit to possibly tap in to what is a growing California hockey market. At Prospera Center in Chilliwack, I'm Vonnie DeBartolo for Go Fraser Valley.
that's it for this week's outdoor episode of Go Fraser Valley Intern Edition. And I have to say, it was worth battling the fear of heights. And if you have a chance to check out the suspension bridge, share with us on Twitter or Facebook. And if you have any stories you want to send to us, send them our way at go underscore Fraser Valley at shaw.ca. But for now, Ahmad, are you ready to hike back Let's down? Head back. <laughs>